Hello everybody, I'm JT Gaming, and today I'm going to show you how to make the player tracking compass. This can be used for a lot of different things, mainly mini games. That's pretty much the only thing you'd use it for. But I'm definitely going to use it for the for the speedrunner versus hunter thing that is very popular right now by these two YouTubers by the name of Dream and George and I found. Anyway, this video is not my idea. I'm actually just spreading awareness out it for it because I think it's a great video. It's actually pretty old. It is made in 2017 by the YouTuber Cloud Wolf. I will try to link it down in the description below. So, here's what you need to do. First, you need to get yourself a repeating command block, a lever, and a compass. All right, so now I have all the items I need. As you can tell right now, the compass is pointing towards the original world spawn, which is 0, uh, zero 040, zero. so I'm actually going to go there just so it can make things a little bit easier in the future. All right, so here it is, and I'm going to place the block there, and you're gonna write this command right here. I'll put all the commands in the description that you need. It's simple, you just need one command block. This is the command that you're gonna do. Slash execute, and then you're going to put the player name you wanna track. I'm the only player in the lobby right now, so I'm going to name myself. Then you're going to put these squiggly lines, and then set world spawn then put some more squiggly lines and you have to put spaces between the squiggly lines because those are actually coordinates and then you're going to click escape and then you would put a lever on top of it and execute the lever as you can tell something on this left side of the screen how to fix that is you just go to slash game rule and then oh, slash game rule oh that's game mode game rule then command block output false and that will get rid of these coordinates on the side so now these this compass is actually pointing towards me uh, you can't see it on the ground but that's why it's kinda going in a circle because it's actually pointing towards me so there's actually one problem you have to be in the chunk with the command block for it to activate so for example if I get out of the chunk it will not work so how to fix this is you actually look at the look at the coordinates that the command block is in so this is in 040 and what you're going to do you're going to get the coordinates for these two blocks 141 and negative 14 negative 1 so what you're going to do is you're going to do in the commands right here slash ticking area then you're going to do add negative one four negative one one four one so now it adds this ticking area so now no matter how far you go away it will always activate so now the entire world can be explored now instead of just these few chunks and the player compass will still work so I'm going to add a split screen because I don't have any friends online right now so I will be right back and I'll join the split screen Alright, so the split screen player is added, as you can tell, because it's split screen. I'm going to change the gamer tag for the split screen gamer tag. So now it is following this split screen right here. So now, since this is in a ticking area, we can go to, for example, let's do slash TP. Let's do 1,000 blocks away. Oh, not 1,000 for 1,000. That's definitely outside of the chunks. And then let me add the player with me. There we go. So now this guy is now following me. The command block is nowhere in sight and the player compass still works. All right, again, this is not my idea and this guy he can go as he can go as far away as he wants and it'll still follow him. As you can tell, I'm going all around and the compass is still following him. I'm definitely going to be having a lot of fun with this in the future. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, this is not my idea. I just fixed it for Bedrock. It is by Cloud Wolf. I will leave his channel or his video that I got in the link below. Anyway, I hope this video helped you guys a lot. And thanks for watching. See you in the next video.